Hi guys, today I am making a video called Based Where I Live, or Where I Live Based on How I Speak. Um, I'm going to be taking this test, and I just tried the first couple questions to see what it looks like. I have not completed it, so I, I don't know what it's going to say. But um, I took this idea from one of my favorite YouTubers, The Frustrated Gamer. He's a great YouTuber, you should check him out. And I'm going to start the quiz now and see where it says I, where it thinks I live, or near where I live. So I say soda. I'm making lunch tomorrow because I don't really use fixing lunch. I'm going to go fix lunch. Like, I'm not going to fix lunch. Like, I might fix a building, but I'm not going to fix lunch. A fixing, maybe. Fixing, yeah. Creating, prepping. Preparing is like before you make food in my world. In my world. When you know the, gl you know those glowing, glowy insects that fly around at night. What are they called again? Um, I call them fireflies. I know people call them lightning bugs. Huh? Um, I use both of these names. I, I know I, I normally use fireflies for this kind of thing. So I'm going to move down. If you want to sell some stuff in your front yard, this is known as a garage sale. I say yard sale sometimes, but I normally say garage sale. If you wanted to order a sandwich from a deli, you would call it a sub. I call it a sub. A po' boy. A grinder. Can I please have a grinder? I want a grinder. Time to grind some wood. I want a grinder. It's better to say sprinkles or jimmies. I'm referring to these colors. Um, sprinkles. I'm definitely a sprinkles. Um, I call some things jimmies, but mostly sprinkles. Um, I call them a water fountain. I don't call it a... Like, we might occasionally call it a drinking fountain. I stick to bottled water. I don't rather stick to bottled water, but sometimes I do drink from a water fountain. You always wear these on your feet. But what's the proper word for them? Shoes. Sneakers. Sneakers for me. They're sneakers. How is the following word actually pronounced? Caramel? Nope. It's caramel. I pronounce it caramel. A lot of people do not. A lot of people in my area try to tell me it's caramel. But I call it caramel. And I'm not making them get into my head because I'm calling it caramel. Depending on where you live, a big truck is also known as a tractor trailer. I can understand a semi truck. I cannot understand a semi. A semi, like, come on multiple things not a semi is a multiple things not a tractor trailer an 18 wheeler some people call it that but mostly people call it a tractor trailer or i call it a tractor trailer those candies on a stick are called suckers right not correct i call them a lollipop can i please have a sucker i would ask can i please have a lollipop not a sucker like what what kind of name is that What's the correct definition of the following word? Caddy wampus. Um, no idea. Maybe a cat? I don't know. I'm just gonna say I'm a cat. Um, no offense to the people in my area. This is just based off my opinion. I'm taking it way too um, deep. I don't know why. So don't take offense to this, please. Um, I'm gonna say I'm a cat. A circular road that goes around and around. Goes round and round. Is better known as... Oh boy. Traffic circle, roundabout, rotary. I use all three of them. At the traffic circle, take the second exit. At the roundabout, take the first exit. At the rotary, please take the third exit. I feel like I'm kind of speaking a different language when I'm doing the rotary, rotary.
When I think of a rotary, I feel like I'm thinking of something that's moving. That's a circle. So I'm going to say a traffic circle. I don't know. I, a baked entree. I, said, I almost said a baked entry. A, bake on, a baked entree is also referred to as a... Baked entree. Like, what else would it be called? A casserole? Like, some things are called casseroles, but not everything's called a casserole. I'm going to say a baked entree, I guess. Popeye. I've uh, Popeye. I've hop. Benny's and most breakfast restaurants are also known as serving. Well, they're both normally serving pancakes or waffles. But if you're thinking about this picture right here, you'd be calling them pancakes. So I'm going to say pancakes because waffles are different for me. See, look. A waffle... looks like that for me a waffle which of these phrases phrases is correct a garbage can or a trash can Ooh, that's we but we say both when you want to change the t channel on a tv you would reach for the clicker i call it a remote too we call it the controller too a remote controller we call them all of them okay but I, I thought clicker, so I'm going to say clicker. How would you use a water tap in a sentence? Tap water? What else would it be? The rusty spigot is broken. Where's the faucet? The tap looks dirty. We need to fix that valve. I'm just going to say the tap looks dirty. I don't know what else to say. Oh, maybe the faucet? Where's the faucet? Um, what do you expect a milkshake to contain? Ice cream? What else? Yeah, ice cream. I mean, if I'm, like, thinking about getting a milkshake at Burger King or, like, McDonald's, I might think milk with syrup. But if I'm thinking a milkshake, ice cream, I'm going to say milk and syrup, actually, because I'm normally thinking about it like that. What do you call, what do people normally sit on in the living room? A couch. A couch. A sofa, it depends. I call a sofa like rounded ends, but I call a couch like um, 90 degree ends. What do you call seeds of a peach? A pit, right? A pit, a seed. I call it a pit. What should those small, okay, I don't want to read that word. That is a little hard for me to say. Be pronounced as crawfish or crawdads or crawfish. Some people say crayfish in my area. I don't know why it's not on there, but crawfish, I'd say. What comes to mind when you hear the word sugar? Um, actual sugar for bacon. That's all I think about like sugar, like a song, maybe sh Sugar, the song. What do you think? Do you know that some people say dressing instead of stuffing? No white people say dressing. Well, I mean, dressings for salad. Like dressing, like liquid dressing that has like a ranch or something like that. Or Caesar or Italian. But like, I want to say, wait, well, I never knew that. What is the correct definition of the word pitcher? I don't have a clue. A pitcher is maybe the thing that you pour into. A baseball. Ah. Pitcher, yeah. Yeah, yeah. probably a baseball player. Which of these random region, regional slang phrases have you said before? That's gnarly, dude. No. Wicked. That's wicked. Pretty as a piece. Gnarly. That's gnarly, dude. I don't really use gnarly. Like, my, my, like, area doesn't use gnarly, but I use gnarly, so. My area and me are very different from each other. I'm, like, different. I don't know why. Um, let's settle this debate.
is it you guys or y'all? Guys. You guys. I just say guys. Like, guys. Look. Guys. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna say you guys, because that's more like it for me. What kind of percent when you hear barbecue? Burgers. I hear burger. I think of burgers or steak when I think about barbecue. Meat. Um, in the phrase, bless your heart. Is the phrase bless your heart actually a compliment? Oh yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Bless your heart. We say God bless. Um, we don't really say that around here. Um, if you're looking for a green bell pepper at a store, what are you actually hoping to find? A green bell pepper? Maybe, well, maybe hopefully peppers that are organic, but like, I wouldn't think about, I'm going to go get an organic um, pepper. I wouldn't think only um, greens are organic. I think maybe greens are more organic than uh, the other ones because they're green. Or I don't know. I, I don't think um, organic would be the answer for me. I'm going to say green bell peppers. Yeah, I'm going to say green bell peppers. You got West. Hmm. Ah, I got West. Yeah, um, I live in the east. Don't live in the west. I live the, the east. Um. Well, if it's saying west of the world, maybe I'll be correct because I'm in the western hemisphere. But if it's saying west, U.S. USA or the United States of America, that's wrong. I live in the eastern side. I live in the northeast. Um. Yeah, that is not correct. Yeah, that's what I thought. A lot of people in my area do say a lot of words different than I do. Um, so, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, also like and subscribe. Drop a co comment down below for whatever reason you want. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.